Welcome back. Um, now, as you may be aware, certain issues have arisen today regarding the amount of airtime given to various presidential candidates on RTE primetime chat shows. So tonight, uh, we've been asked to help redress the balance. So there's a last minute addition to the Saturday night show. We will be welcoming this evening some of the presidential candidates, okay? So uh, firstly, ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a warm welcome to Senator David Norris. <laughs> You. I say, are those my nomination papers in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Oh, I'm having a bit of an election problem at the moment, so do go easy on me. Okay, so, so the, the, oh. the question on everyone's lips, Senator, is are you going to get the nomination? You know, sometimes I just couldn't be asked about it all. And then other times, I really get determined to get my poll back up and running again. Because <laughs> when you consider the litany of cock-ups behind me, I think, ever try, ever fail, fail again, try again, make up all of it again and get right back up the auras. Oh. But one thing I can't, I really grinds my gears, is that awful Michael Twee Higgins. <laughs> I hate that sinner whore and artist that ought to throw him down a bottomless pit. <laughs> but uh, as, as I was saying today on uh, Michael Twee Tweets, uh, 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 I was commissioned to write a poem by the Arts Council, if I may uh, quote a little verse uh, to nice Brendan. I'd love you to please go ahead, Michael Twee. <laughs> my nookie days are over. My pilot light is out. What used to be my sex appeal is now my water spouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, the, the thing is, do we uh, we never get to hear uh, your own voice, Oliver? <laughs> well, 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 as I always, I, I never do. I, ne I, I, I never do myself, as you know. I never do myself. But. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of tubbers, <laughs> a bit of laughter there as well. Other times, though, Pat Kenny is the apposite one to do. Bit of gabo if I'm feeling grumpy, but the hardest one is definitely Brendan O'Connor. Because <laughs> yes, yes, he has that, has that kind of nasal quality, and when he gets really pissed off, the car comes right out of him like... I never pissed off. ...an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. like I said, I'm not going to laugh anymore now. So, like I said, will, will we ever get to hear Oliver Callan's well, voice? With respect, I didn't interrupt you, OK? <laughs> now, and to get back to reality, Martin McGuinness is going down a bomb in the election. We have the Irish in our sights. We're going to give it our best shot. But unfortunately, there will be collateral damage in the form of Fianna Fall. OK. But, but Michal Martin has always been taking mm. pot shots at you guys, anyway. Uh, no, 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 but we've always missed the target <laughs> going forward. But, uh, and I have to say that, uh, that Martin McGuinness's post was actually dynamite. But, but I, I, don't think, <laughs> uh, I don't think that the soldiers have missed fortune. Uh, we've lost control of this election because we've nobody in the race. Uh, but I am determined that uh, Senator David Norris is the man to fill our slot because he loves being uh, on, on top of that poll, you know, <laughs> <laughs> going forward. <laughs> 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 And tell me, what, what does our T-shirt make of all of it? Who is your sexy daddy? <laughs> this is a great time of the year, Brendan, to update your Facebook status to Does anyone need a good plowing? <laughs> I tell you, there's a few ones in the audience tonight I wouldn't mind bringing our load of weapon piping to. <laughs> is anyone else fed up with this bloody presidential election? You know, I'm bored out of me tits going around with Gray Mitchell. Although he is suited to Phoenix Park, I suppose he'd go over and see his cousin George the Penguin in the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're making our changes in government, as you know. Uh, Dr James Riley is now the Minister for Hell. 
uh, but we feel that we are in the driving seat, unless your name is Mary Mitchell O'Connor, of course, but the latest on her is that apparently she's now driving a smart car. <laughs> it's faking taking the piss, isn't it? I believe the only time women should be involved in politics is when there's a by-election. <laughs> oh, very good. You dirty thing, you. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Uh, Oliver, finally, before you, you and, and all your friends leave us, will you be watching the rugby in the morning? Well, you know it's a Saturday night, Brad. <laughs> so I'll be crawling out at D2 later on tonight. There's no way I'm getting up at 6 a.m. to put up with my girl. <laughs> I'll be watching on my Sky Digital Plus box. There you go. You know, 6 a.m. Well, we, you know, we just got a run of luck in this, in this whole sport for Ireland this year. The, the cricket guys, we beat England, of course, in the Cricket World Cup. We beat Australia in the Rugby World Cup, and pretty soon we beat Poland at emigration. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oliver Carlin, ladies and gentlemen.